the sheer barbarism of the attack on a British soldier in Woolwich is really beyond comprehension. The alleged murderers are said to have hacked the victim to death, waited for the police to arrive, and seem to encourage people to videotape their brutality. And yet we must search for some way to think about what appears to be our future. You see, terrorism used to be about something big and dramatic. But perhaps because groups like Al-Qaeda are on the run, their people hunted, their money tracked, their hideouts bombed, this, Woolwich, Boston, have become the new faces of terror. A few people, disturbed or fanatical, radicalized by things they've read or watched, who decide to commit evil. How do you detect this kind of danger? It seems impossible. Now, keep in mind, this was the first terrorist killing on British soil since the London bus and subway bombings in 2005. In fact, since the Madrid and London bombings, there have been just three Islamic terrorist attacks that have killed people in Western Europe. Woolwich, the equally gruesome 2012 murders in France that killed French soldiers and children and a rabbi, and the killing of U.S. soldiers in Frankfurt. Europe's governments have been doing a good job with police and counterterrorism work, and that might explain the relative calm of recent years. They've also done a much better job than in the past at reaching out and helping to integrate their Muslim communities. And the communities have been responding much more strongly against these isolated acts committed by murderers in the name of Islam. The Muslim Council of Britain issued an unequivocal statement condemning the latest killing, supporting British soldiers, and urging the police to do whatever it needed to, unhindered and unhampered. That is precisely the kind of statement all leaders of Muslim communities need to make whenever one of these kinds of attacks takes place. I understand the feeling that some have that they should not be held responsible for the actions of a few perverted madmen. But the trouble is that these madmen claim that they are killing in the name of Islam. And someone has to refute their claims as often as they make them. Now, the alleged murderer in Woolwich claimed that he was retaliating against British soldiers killing Muslims in Afghanistan. I wish that Muslim leaders would make the point that British and American and other allied soldiers are in Afghanistan at the invitation of the democratically elected government of that country. They are defending that government and Muslims every day from terrorist attacks and insurgent warfare. If these people want to protest the killing of Muslims, they should direct their wrath at the Taliban and Al-Qaeda and other jihadi groups because they are the ones who are killing Muslims and many others. We need to hear this message more often and more loudly.